July the 1st, uh, pinch punch, first of the month. Um, another video, let's see how many times I say erm um, today. So lots of letters coming round. Uh, you got some yesterday, you'll get another one today. Just trying to keep you up to date with everything we're doing. We're still trying to do things differently and we are aware that we're now into our fourth month of not being together as a whole school. We've got children, about 100, over 100 children coming in regularly. Uh, those are the children of key workers and children in reception one, early years, uh, uh, year one and year six. And we are largely full. We have very few spaces. Um, you will see, have seen that there is talk now about September. You'll see that there are leaks about what the government plans are. Um, we don't get any information of what's in the news. So we know little more than you. But I've put a few bits on the letter coming out today. The, the trajectory, the way the government is working, is that they are clearly wanting schools fully open in September. So we're working to that. Uh, you'll hear the word bubbles, that children kept in bubbles. So we are looking at how we stagger playtime, so how we do lunch times, how we minimise people moving between areas. So all of that will be placed uh, September. Um, you should have got uh, this letter, um, which uh, just um, is consulting with you, making it clear that we're going to um, finish this term for those that are in on the Friday the 17th of July. And then we are currently, until we get the full, the full plans from the government, looking to have some form of transition event on the Thursday the 3rd and Friday the 4th of September. Your children, currently in line with government plans, will go into the next year group and then all the catch-up and all the work we have to do will take place in those, new, those year groups. We are already identifying gaps of things that haven't been taught. We're already identifying those children who have really struggled uh, to get online and the conversations we've had you as parents. So we are working really hard on that. The current plan is that we will start the academic year on Monday the 7th of September. But as we get more information, and we are desperate to have the school full. Um, it, it, it is um, not the same place. We are hearing laughter. We are hearing children's voices. But there's something wonderful when we have 420 children on the school site. Um, so other things. If your child is in currently in year five or year six, the Youth Hostel Association have been absolutely amazing. We are now in position to give refunds if you're in year six. And year five, you can either have a refund or move that money over to the year six visit. We've also got our bookings for next year. So year five, as we're hoping will become a tradition, is Island Hall um, with the Ranger team there and climbing up and around Thorpe Cloud and over the, um, the Stepping Stones and Dovedale. Um, and then also year six, we seem to be moving around, is, is Lee Valley where we've been before. Uh, and we'll get more details uh, out to you of those. Learning packs, the online working we've seen, you know, some children um, are beginning to get to the end of uh, their love of online work. We know that printing is an issue. So we have got packs uh, available this week. Also look out that I know that PE kits have been put out there if you're picking those up or when you're picking those up. And also... Um, um, we are hoping that you'll be able to pop back any reading books so we can uh, get those uh, clean and ready for the September term. So we're still producing work and I really would flag up the work of the, the uh, team we're working on, the live blogging. When I've been in on those sessions, absolutely fantastic children. Short sessions, no more than an hour, hour and a half, but really pinging ideas and producing a lovely piece of writing. So something different that we're trying to put on. Um, we are planning at the moment a virtual sports day uh, and details will come out but looking a working date of Thursday the 16th of July for that that will be information through parent pay videos like this and through the Twitter stream um, we had a bit of an experiment which was a mixed success uh, from assemblies but Miss Barton um, and I will be doing um, an online assembly tomorrow Thursday the 2nd of July that's a PE assembly, and then I will be doing on uh, on Friday at 10.30, an end of the week roundup. We'll see how that goes. Please mute your computers before you come on. Um, that's really important. Um, um, and then 
Reports we've talked about, they will be coming out electronically on the 14th of July. Make sure you signed up for Parent Pay. It's the only way we can send them out. Um, and uh, that is how we'll be sending information out over the summer. Year sixes, thank you so much to friends uh, who have offered to pay for hoodies for them. They're missing out on chip lunch, the, the barbecue, their residential, their uh, leavers assembly. So that was the best way. There are some other little bits that we're doing and we'll get information out to year six parents. But thank you so much to uh, friends who have been such a support uh, during this uh, difficult time. Um, and then... Uh, the uh, last bit um, is just to make you aware of uh, a couple of um, changes to staffing. Um, you'll have full information on uh, staffing, on classes, on which class your child is in. That comes out all out with the reports. But um, just to make you aware that uh, I have received notice from two members of staff that they wish to retire. And that's Mrs. Carr, who has been assistant head at the school since 2004 and has had to put up with me since uh, 2012. And uh, there's an, this is not the time to uh, do the, uh, the huge thanks and marking of people's time. But um, she has been uh, absolutely central to everything that we've done together over uh, the last eight years. Um, and then Mrs. Limna Dennis uh, has also said that she wishes to uh, retire. Now, she joined the school in 2001 and has been an MSA, teaching assistant. And when I arrived at the school, was also senior lunch controller. And again, somebody who I cannot thank enough for, for their support and the huge amount of work that they've done over this time. And it's... Um, it, 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 it's, a, it, it's a sad time, but I know that they will both enjoy their uh, retirements uh, uh, when that comes around. And um, we will find a way of marking that. But obviously, if you want to make them aware of the impact that they've had on uh, on, on you as a, a parent or a, a, your child uh, during their time in school, then please do feed that back to school. Um the last thing I would flag up, do use the YouTube channel. Uh, Mr. Uh, Whitehead is gainfully uh, making his way through Wind in the Willows. I'm, I'm loving watching that. And we've got some more videos of stories and uh, uh, Mrs. Clark's quiz time have, have gone up as well. So lots of things happening um, up to the end of term. Uh, in line with government advice, we won't be open during the summer. Um, we A, uh, we've got to get the site ready uh, for September uh, but be with the changes in shielding and uh, regulations, the childcare element, the government are saying uh, uh, can now done be, be done as it, it would normally be over the summer. Um, as usual, thanks for your huge support over this time, and uh, I will try and get some more information out to you as soon as possible, as we find it out from the Department of Education. Stay safe, look after yourself, and hope to see uh, quite a few of you in the Assembly Miss Barton and I will be in tomorrow. I will not be doing the exercises. And then on Friday, be our Friday assembly. Stay safe.